how to create a shopify development store hey guys welcome back so in this video i'll show you guys how you can become a shopify partner and how you can create your shopify development store so let's get into it now to get started all you have to do is head on over to shopify.com partner now this can be a great way to actually hone your skills and to start earning money with your skills so all you have to do is click on join now over here and you can join the shopify partners plan where you can actually build development stores now you just answer these questions enter your email address and you'll be led to this page so this is going to be your shopify partners page and from here you can get started with building stores now to create any type of development stores you can click on stores on the left panel over here and click on create a development store now why exactly would you create a development store well you have two options you can choose to create a store to test and build and you can choose to create a store for a client now whatever the purpose of your store is you need to know what is going to actually be available to you after you create your store so you have to make sure you're selecting the one that is for your current needs now partners use development stores for two main purposes first off we do have building for a client and then the second reason is to create the store for your client and then you can transfer ownership and earn a commission. Now, the second reason usually is to test a particular type of theme or application that's still in development. Now, that allows you to choose a different store to start with test data or install custom features. In both cases, the steps of creating a development store are the same but certain development store features prevent you from transferring this type of store to a client. So if you are looking to test and build, make sure it's not a store that you are looking to sell in the future. Now, first off, once you click stores and you have proceeded into building your development store, you're gonna choose which one you want to create. So under the development store use, you can say, let's say we want to create this for a client. Now, some merchants build their own Shopify stores, but many prefer to hire a professional or someone that has some initial experience to build their initial store. And as a Shopify partner, you can build a new store on your client's behalf and then later on transfer ownership of that store to them. So after that, you're going to enter your store name and a URL will be generated accordingly. So I want to add glitter and gold let's say that's the url that we want now you guys can see glitter and gold dot my shopify is not available so i will glitter and gold co now keep in mind that the store name can be changed later on by the store owners then you have to add where your business is located so let's say it's located in canada and then you can add where your client would like to sell so depending on the location if you are someone that's building for a client that already has physical stores you can add in person but let's say for us we are looking to build our pos perfectly and completely online now once you've created your basic Shopify URL and you have actually uh, created your Shopify URL, keep in mind that there are limitations to the uh, changeability. Obviously, you can change it with your own custom domain, but sometimes uh, a new Shopify domain is not generated after a couple of times. So once you have completed these steps, you can go into the next section, which is whether or not your client is currently selling through another platform. So let's say that are, if they're already setting their store up and if they've already set up on a different platform, it can be easier to get more information and uh, from that store if not you can enter no this really does not start any kind of import a lot of people worry that you know it's going to import data from my pre-existing store and start adding it here that does not happen so you're going to click on create development store over here and once you click on create development store it's going to start creating our store and once this step has been completed this will lead us back to our shopify admin so as you guys can see now on the top right we have a basic store setup like you normally would 
Then you have your basic home page, you have your point of sale, your basic shop section, your basic uh, online store, as well as discounts, marketing, all of the basics of Shopify. Then below that, you will have a app called Flow. Now, this is integrated into Shopify, and this allows people to just get access to customer information, contact info, and more. Now, with these types of stores, you can click on settings on the bottom left, and now this will actually show you all of your information for that particular store. Now, some people might wonder what's really the difference between this type of store and, you know, my regular Shopify store. Well, the difference is going to be primarily by the fact that you can go into users and permissions over here and the partner store or development store that you create with Shopify. Now, that is usually the main purpose. Uh, you can go into users and permissions and then you will see the last logins. These types of uh, detailed permissions and user information is not available on a regular Shopify store. And what you can do is uh, you can see to transfer store ownership to a merchant and earn commissions you can go into your partner dashboard and this will actually show your store in your partner dashboard over here now you have team members that you have access with and you have your shopify store here so you can actually go into your source section and select any store that you want to transfer and then you can click on transfer ownership over here and you can transfer ownership to any members that you have added or you can even add a new staff member as you go to transfer the ownership to then as you guys can see for development stores if multiple people are working with it you're working in a team you can click on add staff over here and get started with adding multiple different developers then you can also add collaborators over here and you can use collaborator requests anyone can send a collaborator request or only people with a collaborator request code can send a request and you can generate a code that people can enter to actually be able to join as a collaborator then you have your login services that can be used for external people to log into your shopify store now once you have actually completed setting up your store you're going to transfer ownership to another person now make sure you always always assign this at the end of your store editing because certain permissions are limited only to the store owner and if you're still in the process of development and you transfer ownership to another person it can become difficult for you to complete the process of you know setting things up and if a development store on shopify does not go accordingly to what you thought then to close this store up, just go into the uh, partners page on Shopify and then click on archive development store. Now, once you click on archive development store, your Shopify store is going to be archived in a couple of seconds. And then you can also click on transfer ownership, even on a archived store to be able to transfer it to a new owner. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to build your own Shopify development store. It's pretty easy and being a Shopify partner can help you in building some amazing stores and building your reliability as well you have other features such as referrals as well as leads applications and themes you have access to as a developer on shopify i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to know about shopify and i will catch you guys in the next video